the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the tabi'een and the atba tabi'een, those men and women who were around, who surrounded, who supported, who followed, who listened, who obeyed, who loved, who sacrificed for the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. They were the strangers. So the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said, this religion it began as a stranger. Sayaudu li gariban. Fatuba li ghuraba. Fatuba li ghuraba. Fatuba li ghuraba. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said this religion, this deen in the beginning it came as a stranger and it will return again as a stranger so welcome glad tidings to the strangers we are the strangers the deen was strange even the language was strange although it was the language of the Arabs but they didn't know when the Quran said قَدْ عَفْلَهَ مَنْ زَكَّاهَا وَقَدْ خَابَ مَنْ دَسَّاهَا they didn't know what that meant even though they were Arabs how is the Quran using how is he saying that kind of word they were Arabs but they never heard it like that they knew the word zakah but they didn't know it like that. وَالشَّمْسِ وَضُحَاهَا وَالْقَمَرِ إِذَا طَلَاهَا وَالنَّهَارِ إِذَا جَلَّاهَا وَاللَّيْلِ إِذَا يَغْشَاهَا وَالسَّمَاءِ وَمَا بَنَاهَا وَالْأَرْضِ وَمَا طَهَاهَا They had not heard that before. Even Umar ibn Khattab, who was a very great poet, he didn't know what that meant. He was asking others, what's he saying? How is he saying that? Where is he getting that? Because the language which Allah sent to him, it was strange. Because this was kalamullah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not kalamun nas. Kalamullah. And when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa who was well known to his people, he was known, Al-Ameen. Sadiq al-Masduq sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They knew he was Muhammad ibn Abdullah and they knew he was Al-Ameen and they knew that he was truthful. But when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent him as a prophet and a messenger and commissioned him with this Qur'an and ordered them to follow him and to listen to this word and to give up the idols and to obey Allah and to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they thought he was saying something strange and he said to them by their names O oh, Quraysh, you know me. If I told you there was an army behind this mountain coming here to destroy you, would you believe me? They said, yes, we will believe you. Then I'm telling you that I'm the messenger of Allah and you have the obligation to obey me. Their response was that still. He's saying something strange. And so the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa who was respected 
who was trusted, who was loved, who was known by his people, even his uncles. That day he became a stranger. And so those people who followed his message after him, one by one, they also, they were known. Whether they were slave or whether they were free, whether they were rich or they were poor, or they were black or white or Arab or non-Arab, they were known. Everyone knew them. But one by one, as they chose to follow the Prophet they too became strangers.